Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Deep in the ancient rainforests of the world, some 66 million years ago or so, silent hunters slithered and slid amongst the dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era. These were some of the largest serpents of legend sitting at the top of the food chain. But the prized prey of these ancient giant snakes were dinosaurs. Yeah, you heard that right. Stick around for the end of the short video for the ultimate battle between the giant reptile king T-Rex and one mighty super snake. Number 10. Sanage. Sanage was believed to have slithered amongst the dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous Epoch, 66 to 72 million years ago. They were vicious, predatory snakes who grew to intimidatingly massive sizes about 3 to 4 meters long. These were the first early snakes discovered to have snacked on dinosaurs. Proof of their intriguing choice of meal was based on a 67 million year old fossil that was uncovered in West India way back in 1987. The clutch of fossilized remains discovered featured the remarkable arrangement of well-preserved snake vertebra which belonged to the large predatory serpent named Sonija indicus. The snake was somewhat coiled around dinosaur eggshells and was later determined to be the bones of a dinosaur nestling. Scientists believe that Sanaja lurked around dinosaur nesting grounds, patiently waiting for dinosaur hatchlings to pop out of their rock-hard eggs. The newly hatched baby dinosaurs had soft skeletons and would definitely not have stood a chance against such a seasoned predator as the Sanaja. No other ancient snakes have been discovered to dino dinosaurs like the Sanaja, but scientists infer that many other early snakes likely snacked on defenseless dinosaurs, especially pillaging abandoned dinosaur nesting grounds for some eggs. Number 9. Diablophus. Living in the late Jurassic period, around 155 million years ago, were the most primitive snakes that man has ever known. These ancestral serpents were stealth hunting predators given the scientific name Diablophus gilmori. While not much is known about these ancient snakes with regard to their shape, length, and body form, they are believed to share features with fossils of early snakes and with modern snakes as well as with lizards. We can only assume that Diablophus was a medium-sized snake and would have been more than capable of killing small dinosaurs like the Frutatans, which weighed less than a kilo and measured no more than half a meter. A photorealistic restoration of Diablophus by a Hungarian-Canadian paleo artist, Julius Sotoni, gives an illustration of the primitive serpent slithering about a late Jurassic dinosaur skull. Number 8. Coniophis. This little serpent appeared about 94 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period and may have very well interacted with the infamous T-Rex. Perhaps she was food to some young Tyrannosaurus and Pectinodons of the group of dinosaurs called Theropods. It was quite a small basal snake and it's unlikely that it would have had dinosaurs for a meal. This half a meter snake likely picked on small primitive mammals like the Alphadon, an opossum-like ancestral mammal about 30 centimeters tall, dating back as far as the Turonian age 94 million years ago. What is fascinating about Coniophis is that it is one of the few animals that survived the notorious KPG mass extinction event 66 million years ago. Number 7. Najash. At the time of discovery, these snakes were believed to have been the most primitive snakes known to have existed. But these ancestral serpents are dated back only 90 million years ago in a geologic period known as the Late Cretaceous. These ancient snakes were first discovered in a terrestrial fossil deposit in South America and were named Najash Rionegrina. The most surprising thing about Najash was that it had legs. It is believed to have been a fairly small snake, but a deadly one nonetheless. Existing almost the same time as the Dinalizia and several other basal snakes, Najash likely preyed on little dinosaurs' hatchlings for dinner. The young ones of small, little built dinosaurs like the Anabysidia and the Unquilo river lizard are likely to have more than filled the belly of this old snake. Number 6. Dinalizia. With a name that translates to Terrible Ilesia, these ancestral snakes were undeniably something of a nightmare. Fans of the TV series Walking with Dinosaurs, Death of a Dynasty, might have caught a glimpse of Dinalizia slithering about in Tyrannosaurus rex's territory. It was an accurate depiction of the two creatures. However, the two could not have encountered each other in real life, since Dinalizia lived some 15 or so million years before the feared dinosaur. More precisely, Dinalizia slithered across what is now South America 90 million years ago. They measured up to 3 meters long and are reckoned to be the largest burrowing snakes yet. 
fossil remains of Dinalizia revealed a very close relation to a group of modern snakes, which encompasses the deadly pythons, vipers, cobras, and mambas. These ancestral snakes were vicious predators, taking advantage of their massive size to prey on small animals. And it's quite likely that they very much dined on small dinosaurs, like the Anabasidia, a 2 meter bipedal herbivore of the late Cretaceous period. Number 5. Manarana. Described from Madagascan fossils, notably vertebra and rig fragments found in the Mahajanga Basin of the late Cretaceous Mavarano Formation, the Manarana is yet another ancient snake that must have given dinosaurs a run for their money. Eggs and hatchlings, rather. Dating back 83 million years ago to 66 million years ago, Manarana lived alongside a diverse array of dinosaurs who roamed the Mahanjanga province of northwestern Madagascar. From fossils uncovered in the area, we know that Manarana's neighbors included theropod dinosaurs like like the Majungasaurus, and seropod dinosaurs like the Repetosaurus, among others. Minerana has been described as a specialist hunter, and its 7 centimeter wide head with an extensive mouth gape, comparatively, it is likely that it could prey on larger mammals, lizards, and the prehistoric frogs called Beelzebufo. It is not inconceivable, also, that the wide mouth gape adaptation seen in Minerana was an indication that it perhaps even preyed on juvenile dinosaurs. Quite possibly, Menorana raided dinosaurs' nests around the time new hatchlings were breaking out of their shells, as has been suggested for Sanaja. Number 4. Madstoya. This was the monster snake that ruled pretty much all the prehistoric southern continents. It comes from a huge family of super serpents spread worldwide. Madstoya are particularly identified from numerous vertebra scattered all over Argentina, Niger, Madagascar, and Brazil, dating back 89 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period, known to be the golden age of the dinosaurs. These monstrously large serpents lived amongst dinosaurs and even survived the KT extinction, with the last of the Madstoya dying out about 37 million years ago. Madstoya was a constrictor like pythons or boas, and as such, it squeezed its prey to death. While scientists agree that Madstoya was a giant snake, they cannot agree on a ballpark size of this prehistoric super serpent. Most people believe they grew 8 to 10 meters and would have been knee size wide. Now that is a mega snake that could have taken down some serious dinosaurs in such epic prehistoric duels like we love to imagine. From its sheer size, Madstoya would have easily attacked the Mahajanga lizards like the Majungasaurus. These were 6 meter tall dinosaurs that shared the Madagascan habitat with our super serpent 70 to 66 million years ago. Another dinosaur that would have regretted crossing paths with a hungry Madstoya was the Maziacosaurus, a small predatory theropod also from Madagascar. Number 3. Paleophis. As a specialized aquatic snake, Paleophis was regarded as a vicious hunter in the sea. This giant in the sea could grow up to 10 meters long and may have been 20 to 30 centimeters thick. Paleophis was a non-venomous marine snake, and it's not clear whether it was able to obtain oxygen directly from the water or if it adopted a semi-aquatic lifestyle. No matter, one thing was for certain, it was a large predator that scared the living daylights out of the marine prey. It may also have ambushed dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus, which lived on both land and the sea like a crocodile. We cannot say for sure which of the two abled predators controlled the turf, but the odds are in favor of Paleophis, for its extraordinary size and the obvious advantage that it was the apex predator of the aquatic environment they were adapted to. Number 2. Gigantophis. It's a 500 kilo, 12 meter super uber snake that once slithered across the Sahara of Northern Africa 62 to 40 million years ago. It was reckoned to be the largest snake ever recorded, a position that is now taken by the next super serpent on our list. Gigantophis fed on large prey, mammals, birds, reptiles, and even other snakes. Anything that could fit in this apex predator's mouth was dinner, but prey the size of African elephants were more alluring. It's not out of the question, also, that Gigantophis may have even preyed on some of the dinosaurs which survived the mass extinction event. We believe that such a giant snake would have made more sense in that age of dinosaurs, since the size of its potential prey would be more fitting for the monstrous predator. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Titanobo. This super snake overshadowed all other prehistoric snakes we know and all giant snakes alive today. 
It is the humongous snake that was discovered in a Colombian coal mine in 2009, believed to have slid and slithered on Earth 60 million years ago. From snout to tail, this prehistoric super serpent was seemingly endless, a spine-chilling, stupendous creature that grew to monstrous proportions, easily towering over most of the large and terrifying ancient lizards we've come to fear. No doubt, this monstrosity of a super serpent ruled the deep jungles of its time. It was a member of the notorious Boidae family, which included the boa constrictor and the anacondas, who kill their prey by constriction. This was comparatively larger, way larger, than its present-day relatives. Measuring 15 meters long and laying waist-high wide on its titanic girth, and reaching a massive weight of 1,135 kilos, Titanobo was said to be the largest snake ever. It was a deadly hunter and was probably the predator that finished off the surviving dinosaurs from the KPG mass extinction event. Yeah, some scientists believe that the dinosaur extinction process was gradual and that a small group of dinosaurs lived on after the devastating extinction. Assumptions that some dinosaurs roamed the Earth until just recently squarely placed surviving Tyrannosaurus rex dinosaurs within the path of the absurdly massive ancient snake, Titanobo. And the epic battle between these two giants may very well have taken place. We'll let you be the judge as to which of these worthy legends may have taken the prize home. Hey, you made it to the end of this video! In hindsight, some of the snakes here came way after dinosaurs went extinct, but their sheer sizes would have made them formidable dinosaur killers. Or what do you think? Let us know in the comments section. Your engagement is what helps keep our curiosity going. And oh, don't forget to check out our other fantastic videos. You can start with the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.